family, welcome to Sweet Annie's Life. My name is Annie, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Now, I have such an exciting recipe for you today because we are going to be making some um, baking powder today because we this is baking it's going to be baking time in december and during the year when we do all our baking we are going to be self-sufficient and we are going to make our baking powder so i have all the ingredients here and i am going to let you know what my ingredients are shortly i no, you know about this big boy here. This is our baking soda. And I use this baking soda for a lot of things. You can use it in the laundry. You can use it for cleaning. I um, mix it with some vinegar. I put some in the sink and then pour some vinegar over it and it does it's bubbling and all that and it is known to clean this sink so i normally buy these big boys so i just wanted to share this quick recipe with you if you did not want to today i'm going to be putting some tapioca starch in mine but if you want to, you can put some cornstarch. You can put, yeah, you can put some arrowroot powder if you wanted to as well. I, this is just a small bottle. I'm not going to be making a lot because if, for instance, if you wanted to make this um, without the starch and you wanted to just make it to use the same time you could use just these two ingredients the baking soda and the cream of tartar the cream of tartar is the acid that the baking soda needs to work to rise because we know how baking soda works so let's get started with this and i have one tablespoon here so we're just going to be doing tablespoonful. I get so excited about sharing these things with you. All right, so let's get started. So the first ingredient that I am going to use, I am going to be using my baking soda. So I'm using one tablespoon of the baking soda. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of the tapioca starch. That's one tablespoon. And then the acid, which is the cream of tartar, I did not even know that cream of tartar was such, you know, an excellent thing. It is. It has so much beneficial um, things. I used to put cream of tartar in my sponge cake when I was younger and I used to make my sponge cake. I just put cream of tartar in it, but I don't know. So we're going to be using two of the acid so that ratio is two one one so it's two acids which is the cream of tartar and then it is one of the cornstarch and one of the baking soda and then we're just going to mix these all up and what the cornstarch does is it stops the baking soda and the cream of tartar from clumping together so it that's just like baking powder you realize when you use the baking powder it doesn't clump together 
well it doesn't clump together because they have a starch in it to stop it from clumping together another thing about the baking powder that we buy it would say double active and that's because it has two acids in it but we don't need two acids so we just using the one acid and that would be fine just the one acid and I just wanted to get this really blending so that there is no clumping and then we can make our scones or biscuits or cookies or cakes all these things with it and guess what we made it ourselves. so isn't that exciting I think it's exciting all right I was looking at that little bubble in the actual glass put that in there and now we have our own baking powder and I did not want to make too much because I don't want too much I had this is quite enough for me all right so isn't that beautiful our baking powder is all done and i hope that you enjoyed this short recipe so now you don't even have to go to the store and get baking powder as long as you have these ingredients i always have i have the cream of tartar bake in the house because i know how good it was for you I had the tapioca starch. I also had corn starch, but I decided to use the tapioca starch because the tapioca or the arrowroot starch is what I use in my my body butters and stuff like that. So to reduce the greasiness, and then the baking soda. I always have baking soda in the house because baking soda is just good for so much things all right so i hope that you enjoyed this short recipe and if you did consider giving me a like a share and a subscribe